series of pistons as they're around and an inclined plane. You'll notice that that is at a slope. Um, it's kind of hard to show you, but the pump works virtually the same way. We'll have to dig into it a little bit further, I'll show you. So, let's see if this thing lifts out. Yep, okay. Don't want to lose this check ball. There are two little O-rings right there. I'm gonna hold on to this. Anytime you see a hole, you want to be careful. I know that the I actually screwed through those. I want to make sure there's no check balls that are gonna fall out. This part actually looks really good. I love the impact tools. That came off easy. I'm going to pull this across the seal. So I want to make sure the shaft is clean. Move it up with the oil. I don't want to destroy the seal when I slide the seal back over it. Let's pull all these off. These are inverted torques, which you can actually get off with um, 12 point sockets. Or you can buy a Torx, an actual inverted Torx bit. These are tens. Um, but you can get them off with a the socket just fine with a twelve with a twelve point. I'm gonna notice the length of them again. You know, and I know I have this weird one with this head. shaft in there. gear. And that's probably just splined. So let's pull that out. Yep. It's just splined. Everything looks like it's in really good shape. Bring you guys closer. Again. Yep. We remove all of our spiders and everything. We're not careful. Don't move this. There's your differential gears. Uh, 
There's our gear down. So it spins this outside one, which gears down to these spider gears, which in turn, well, this one turns these and these turns. These hold on to the outer casing, which actually grab on to this gear and drive your tractor. So this thing actually looks like it's in really good shape. See there's a bushing there that won't allow these to fall off. If I don't if I don't let that rack fall out all the way. So that's good. There's some more differential gears. They look great. Let's pull this housing out. And a big shim. That all looks great. Slide that back in. Oops. You want to slide that on? That back in there. Let's reinstall this. Spider gears. Back in there. And sit there. Now let's take out our main assembly. Okay, there's three bolts. One, two, three. Pull those out and pull this assembly out. Okay. Let's check these bolts. They are identical lengths. All these little pistons want to jump out now. I'm gonna uh, probably gonna drop some pistons from the top unit. Pistons, darn it. Yeah. Now, yeah. let me just pull up this assembly. Let's put you there back in. clean up. Okay, I know I just barely lost a check ball. This is your drive motor. No, I did not lose turbo valve. I lost passage. Okay, good. These little metal dowel pins slid out. I didn't think it would. This is your incline plane, your ball bearings, they all look nice. This thing should be really nice, it still has a machine surface, you can still see it. So that's in great shape. That's in really nice shape. Don't feel any contaminants down there, put that back. This is your pump. And it's pumping oil like it should. But essentially to rebuild your transmission, all it is is generally this part, this part, and this part. 
Um, and if this part's not worn out, you can get away with just one of these, but if you want it to work like new, just replace these two and the and this, and you'll probably be about 200 bucks, maybe 250. These are just little cups a spring. That's it. And this is just a machine block. So I guess I'm in a just guess I gotta I'll look over these parts a little bit closer and order some new parts. Probably take me a week or better and get them back in and throw the tractor back together and see if we can get the tractor working.